Hey guys, Adam here, and I'm going to do my very first Magix Movie Edit Pro tutorial. Basically, what I want to cover is a technique I use a lot of the times that a lot of you have seen, and that would be jump cutting. Now, to do jump cutting in your videos with Movie Edit Pro, it's really simple. Uh, first thing you want to do is open the program, So, and once you do, you'll come to a screen similar to this. Basically, it'll show you your options here on how you're going to uh, start with the program. I recommend just going up here to the edit and once you're in edit it will show you all of your uh, your videos in your library. Now I always make a directory called working which contains all my video files so go ahead and locate your video that you're going to use. Now I recorded this video here to use for this example. Now all you need to do to get it into the timeline well first I should say when you start off Movie Edit Pro, you're going to start off in this mode. You're going to start off in this mode, in storyboard mode. Switch it to timeline mode. Makes it edit. It makes editing a lot easier. Once you're in timeline mode, you're going to see a set of tracks on the side here. We'll, we'll get to that later. First thing you want to do is get your video from from wherever you stored it and get it into the timeline. To pull that off, all you do, click, drag, and drop. And there we have it. Videos in. Sweet. All right. The next step is pretty easy. Now, a lot of you have seen my jump cutting. You're probably pretty convinced now that you know how I do it once you see this layout. Basically, if you notice here, there's a bunch of dead space. There's no talking. Here I'm talking. Here there's nothing. So all I do is I, I just cut out the dead space. And to do that, it's very simple. First thing you do, is you go to where the, the, the dead space becomes voice, move the cursor there, this orange bar, and then go over here to the razor blade and hit, and it'll chop the video, it splits the video up. Highlight the part you don't want, go over here to the X, and hit delete. And I'll just drag this over just to start it off at the beginning of the film. And there we go. The next thing you want to do is start cutting out parts in the middle of the video where there's no speaking and nothing but dead air. So once again go to the razor blade, split it, move to where I start talking again, split it, and just keep doing that throughout the whole video. Now you could sit there and do these one at a time, but I find it's easier just to split all the video that's on the screen, and then I'll show you an easy trick for getting rid of it all at, at once. Okay, now we got all of our video split up and all the dead air on its own. To get rid of it all, you could sit there and click on it one at a time and go up here to the X and delete it, or you could press and hold the control key on your keyboard and select all the dead space in the video at once. Go up here to the X and scatterboosh, it's all gone. And then you just drag your video so that it all lines up in sequence. There's probably an easier way to do this too, but I haven't found it yet. And then once you're done that, you will see that this video is now 18 seconds long instead of being 30 seconds long. So I cut 12 seconds of dead air out. That's how I've been making my video shorter. So there you go. And this final product looks a little something like this. Okay, so this is a video to demonstrate the art of jump cutting. Jump cutting can be used to remove pauses from a video. Videos are fun. Jump cutting makes them funner. Isn't that right, guys? Jump cutting rocks. <coughs> Wasn't that cool? I know it was cool. Because that's how we do it when we jump cut. Yeah. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. That's how I do my jump cutting with Magix Movie Edit Pro. If you uh, want to download the trial version of this software, you can get it over at magix.com. I'll have a link in the underbar for you to check out. And uh, they have a trial version that you can give a go, and if you like it, go ahead and purchase a copy. Well guys, until next time, take it easy and have fun editing.